Welcome to our Savvy Series. I'm Catherine Magana here with Rachel Lee Bonovich. And if you'd like to set up an initial call, 30-minute strategy call or meeting with us, you can reach us at 760-692-5700. So today we're going to continue the conversation about obstacles in retirement. But it's interesting, I was looking at, there's a Bank of America study that I often look at, and it actually says saving for retirement is on top of mind, yet many don't have an actionable plan. And I also said that 57% um, have found that saving for retirement um, haven't figured out how much they need to save, and 40% aren't confident um, about being in retirement. So it's kind of interesting. I know we deal with a lot of retirement planning. We do a lot of workshops, and we have these conversations. Uh, but one of the things we wanted to kind of talk about today was, um, you know, the mistake of not seeking professional advice and help. And so we often see that, especially, um, you know, sometimes people like to do it themselves or they don't really pay attention to it until they get to retirement. And so we feel that, you know, having a plan along the way and yes, you know, any time is a good time than not doing something at all. But depending on where you're at in that kind of age range, um, you know, obviously we're here to help and guide and make sure that you're making those right financial decisions. So I definitely feel like having some guidance is important. I find a lot of clients, they don't act until there's some sort of an emergency situation mm -hmm. or maybe it's too late. Um, one thing that I tell clients all the time is if you have a major life event, it's a really good idea to consult with a, with a professional. Um, for instance, um, if you get married, you definitely want to be talking with, uh, you know, financial advisor. Do you want to be talking with an estate planning attorney, with a tax professional, um, or maybe having a baby, um, expanding your family? That's really important time to kind of look at, you know, what the future holds and and having a strategy yeah. um, for your finances. Or even um, if you went through a divorce and you get remarried and if there's kids or, you know, what does that look like for you? So I think there's a little bit of estate planning involved as well, making sure Absolutely. And, or, or what if your kids are going off to college or they've just turned 18? One of the pitfalls I've seen with clients is that they fail to consult with a professional and then all of a sudden they're, they're – adult child who is still in need of help, you can't jump in and help with their finances or get any information from doctors if you don't have a health care directive or a financial um, power of attorney. Yeah. So I mean, it's definitely, it's, it's worth co consulting with a financial professional. Yeah. And as you're phasing into retirement, obviously you're not working anymore, or you maybe you're transitioning, doing something part-time. Uh, so kind of looking at what income sources do you have coming in and how, you know how are you going to get paid like what, how are you going to live off of your assets and so maybe looking at some strategies or income producing strategies and making sure you know you are getting that monthly payment so i think there's some planning that goes in place but also you know we factor in social security if there's rental properties and we kind of do that holistic overview and then you know is and then you know if you have a plenty of assets and then what is that next, you know, generation and how are you kind of allocating investments or, you know, what, what does that look like for your future? What we've been seeing a lot of uh, is um, clients that don't have a, a plan. They don't have a strategy. They've yeah. got um, IRAs all over the place. Yeah. Maybe they left different jobs yeah. and they had their 401k that they rolled over into an IRA. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, they, they're like, wow, I have, it's so complicated. Yeah. Can you help us make it simpler? Yeah. So I think that, you know, consulting with a, you know, a, a professional at that point is, as you're phasing into retirement is, yeah. okay, what do I have? Like you said, keep it simple, like start consolidating. And, and yeah, you have options, which we go over all of those rollover options. But I think obviously trying not to have 10 different statements everywhere and making sure, okay, what's, like you said, what's the strategy? What's, what are we doing with everything? Yeah. And, and if you, if you haven't worked with financial advisors, I, I know that it can be a little bit daunting. Uh, you know, what am I going to be paying? What am I going to be mm -hmm. getting for that? But, but honestly, working with a professional can save you so much money and, and, and give you peace of mind. Yeah. Um, one of the things I've seen is, you know, if you do lack the experience, getting that, that personalized help is really important and key um, because you can, you know, go in with a list of goals yeah. and that, pre that planner will really help you um, to, to really hit that target. Yeah. And prioritize that and make sure you're focusing on what, what's important to you. Because otherwise you're gonna, you may end up making mistakes. For instance, what I've seen is um, oftentimes when people then get to an age where they have to take money out of their IRAs, mm -hmm. 
they will think, well, I can take the money out of my, my IRA as part of my required minimum distribution, and I can just put it into a Roth. Yeah, we get that a lot. Like, obviously, exactly. I hear that a lot. They think, oh, just move it to I'll a Roth. I'll just move it into a Roth. Like, wait, wait, hold, hold, hold because the Because there's so many <laughs> rules that go along with I that. Know. And if you don't have the experience yeah. or the expertise, you may end up costing yourself more money. Yes. Because if you have excess contributions to a Roth, yeah. um, the penalty is 6% per year. Yeah. You- and we're not saying that a Roth conversion might not be a good idea. It just it might make sense before requiring requirement of distributions Absolutely. or if it's after requirement of distributions, perhaps there's our earned income and there's a little more to it. So I definitely feel like that's definitely something that we hear about a lot. Yeah. And, you know, working with a professional and developing that strategy, I think is kind of a third key point about, mm-hmm. um, you know, when people ask me, well, why do I want to work with a financial professional? Um, and they really can help you hone in on your your goals. Mm -hmm. Um, For instance, I had a client who called, I don't know, a month ago and said, oh, I have this money and should I pay off my house? Well, that might not necessarily be the best idea um, for everyone. Um, So consulting with with a financial advisor um, is is a really good idea because everybody's situation is really different. And just because you read about something on the internet doesn't necessarily make it true and right for you. Correct. And then that kind of ties into the behavioral side. So with money, like you said, if you want to pay off your home, it's that tie of I want it paid off, but it financially is that the best decision for you. Um, and then even with investing, when you have a strategy and things in place, the markets fluctuate, interest rates change, the stock markets change. I mean, so making sure um, that you have a plan and you understand why you're doing certain investments. Um, and, you know, and, and once again, things do change over time. And so kind of revisiting, making sure, you know, are we still in line with your targets and your goals and and then even rebalancing. You know, occasionally we might need to rebalance between stocks and bonds. And so it's not a, hey, we just do it one time and we're all done. I mean, this is kind of ongoing. We're constantly re- reviewing and um, and things change in lives. So like all of a sudden when you're in retirement, um, sometimes we hear, I went to uh, Florida and I want to buy a house out there now or a condo. And so it's like, <laughs> okay, you want a second home. Uh, but the reality is when you start looking at the numbers and maybe you don't want to go out there, you know, every year or you want to go out there once a year for a month and you don't want to be, you know, have a, another property. So there's different ways, you know, things to think about, but it's also important to look at the numbers. Like what is the impact or how is this going to affect me financially? And so any financial decision, you know, we want to be a part of that. You know, whether do I add solar? Do I buy a car? Do I, you know, what is, you know, all these different things that come up. And honestly, we can function as an accountability partner. Yeah. I think that's so key because so many times have you set a goal and said, okay, I'm going to, you know, lose 10 pounds or I'm going to run a marathon or whatever you say you're going to do. But having that person that will come alongside you and help you make a plan and then help you take action and then stay in action on those and then review it again and again. Um, I, I think is really key to have yeah. that that person in your life. Yeah, and then like we said, things change in your lives, and so g- going through that together, and um, and there might be grandkids down the line, or you might want to live closer to grandkids. I mean, there's a lot of things that happen, and um, and so you know, so I think having that accountability partner or somebody there to help you along the way and make those big decisions. And we're big advocates for helping women learn. And we do a lot of uh, webinars, we do a lot of live events. We're um, we're there to kind of teach, but we're, you know, we're obviously we have a lot of experience, but we want to make sure that um, for those that want to learn a little more, we want to be that resource and make sure that we're educating. Because I feel like there's a lot of times um, it's hard to make decisions if you don't understand, but, you know, we don't expect you to know everything, but enough to feel like I feel good about make the decisions that I'm making and the direction I'm headed. I think it's really key just to take that first step yeah. and reach out. I, I thought it was really poignant yesterday. We had a client who came in or, and she is in her eighties and she said, I wish I wouldn't have waited I know. until I was in my eighties, but yeah. I can do it now. I know. And so I thought that was so great that she said that and that yeah. she was taking the initiative to learn. She yeah. said, I really want to learn about finance, but she really inspired me. Yeah. Um, and that, it just it kind of made my day to to see the sparkle in her eye where she said you know my sister loved doing this stuff yeah. and I always was kind of just blew it off right. and it's never too late it's like uh, yeah <laughs> that's what I said and then we you know her her daughter was with us uh, with her too and said you know my my da- my daughters are eleven and fourteen yeah. and um, it's never too early either yeah. to start teaching and so I I just I would just encourage you to call a financial professional call us we'd yeah. we'd love to help you learn and teach you and. Never too early, never too late. Exactly. So if you want, once again, want to reach out to us, uh, you can contact contact us at 760-692-5700. So thank you for joining us today. And until next time, we'll savvy up. Please stay tuned for important regulatory disclosures. 
Savvy Women Wealth Management is an SEC registered investment advisor. The opinions expressed in this program are for general informational purposes only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual or on any specific security. It is only intended to provide education about the financial industry and how we may be able to assist. To determine which investments may be appropriate for you, consult your financial advisor prior to investing. Any past performance discussed during this program is no guarantee of future results. As always, please remember investing involves risk and possible loss of principal capital. Tax considerations presented may not be appropriate for every individual circumstance. A tax professional should be consulted before making any decisions about your tax liability.